Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hoard up. <laughs> it's time, baby, it's time. I missed last week and didn't do a hoarding up video because I had things going on in Hollywood. But right now, I don't even know where I am. I see a Pikachu. Uh, there's a handful of things that came out today. Logan came out on Blu-ray. I know Best Buy has a steel book for it. Get Out also came out on Blu-ray today. But I'm gonna be hitting up a handful of places today. But like I said, I'm already at my first location. And that location is unnameless. There's like no name on this thing right here. But this is my first location of the day. That's going here, see if they have anything special or cool up in here. What is this place? What is, what is this? You don't sell anything. Oh! Oh! What are you doing here, bro? Dude, like, there's no, there's no, there's no sell shit in here. Man. There's no DVD. There's no DVDs or Blu-rays. Just this one. Just this one. Uh, that's ironic. That was actually there. We keep that. <laughs> oh yeah, you do have uh, Blu-rays in here. Man, you down to go hoarding with me? Yeah, man. Let's do it. If you want to get this bad boy right here of all my short films I made. Check out the link down below, midnightmoviewatchers.com. But Andrew, man, before we head out, I brought a big old bag uh, with me of DVDs and Blu-rays to bring on over to CD Trader to sell or trade. Let's take a look at uh, some of the stuff that's up in here for the people that want to know what kind of stuff I'm trading. I gotta get, I gotta get rid of this, because I, I love the movie, but a Blu-ray's coming out of that soon. Oh, it's not out yet? But no, no, it's coming out real soon. You gotta cut. I ain't never watching that again, but it was fun. Marine 5, I know you're a wrestling fan. You want that one? Okay, cool. Just wanted right. to make sure. Yes, just a I handful of things. And I know I'm not going to get anything for this one because this is like a bootleg, so I don't even know why I put That's that in here. Yeah. Is this on a, like a larger collection, like those things that have like eight? Yeah, no, but it's also on Blu-ray too, like a Scream Factory double pack. I got a handful of just random things in here I have on Blu-ray already or, Dude, what are you or, doing? or collection packs. I have that in a collection pack. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Puppet Master. Just a bunch of random, you know, stuff that I don't really need anymore because I have them on different other sets and different things like that. Well, let's go and see how much I can get for those things and maybe I can hoard up on some other cool shit. All right, guys, off to our first location of the day, the local fries. Let's head up in this piece, see if they have anything cool. First thing we saw was a big old table of Blu-rays of budget releases, and uh, some of which seem to be kind of decent prices. Like this one right here, Mercury Rising, for five bucks on Blu-ray is a pretty good deal. I remember liking this one back in the day. I haven't seen that probably since it came out. I think it's, this, isn't that the same little kid from Pet Cemetery in there? That Miko something, I, I think it, it- I always get this movie and the Jackal confused yeah, yeah. for some reason. I think the Jackal is the one that has uh, Jack Black in it, right, for a couple seconds? Off yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's just a handful of other titles in here. This was a film that was kind of okay. It was directed by John Gulliger. I always love John, man. He's always been a, 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 a nice friend of mine. All right, guys, here's some of the new ones that came out today. We got The Great Wall, which I heard semi-decent things about, but I don't know. Have you seen that one yet? I had no desire. No? It just, it, it's just weird. I don't I, I Matt Damon did that movie. It doesn't make any sense. It, I don't know. it seems like one of those movies, if I was, if Blockbuster was still around and I was working there, I would rent it for free and just be like, oh, okay, I watched it. And of course, we got the Unforgiven 4K Blu-ray uh, that came out in Logan. Uh, 4K. I know Best Buy has that steel book, but there's no way in hell it's going to be there by the time we get there because people have been making videos all day today and yeah. Best Buy's only beating like maybe 10. Really? And people have been like, you know, or pre-ordering it and picking it up in store, so there's no way in hell we're going to be able to get it anyway. But we also got Get Out, which was cool. I talked about it in my last Blu-ray DVD update video. And this one right here, you, you guys... Raw which, Dog? Rock Dog. <laughs> you guys can skip that one. It was just kind of like, eh. We say Raw Dog? <laughs> that's what I thought it said. Raw Dog. I guess that's how he likes to go. Raw Dog? Hey, Andrew, dude. I'm Carlos. <laughs> Yeah, you like my impression? <laughs> I'm Carlos. I'm Carlos. Okay, guys, okay, look. We're still in fries right now, and I came across something kind of stupid, but only because this one thing is not even made anymore, but yet fries has a bunch of these NES Classic uh, controllers, the ones that have longer cords for them, but yet you can't even buy the classics anymore because they discontinued the shit. Yeah, man. So why do they why do they make these now and not then when they were when they were hot and popular? Well, because this is not this is like a secondary. Uh, I don't know what you call it, but this is not a Nintendo license. Yeah, product. yeah, but it said this for the NES Classic. But I guess yeah. this company is gonna get screwed because these things are gonna be sitting here for a while. All right, Andrew, man, we finally made it on over to our next destination of the day, CD Trader, baby. Gotta get my bag of all these DVDs and Blu-rays up in there. See how much how much credit or money I can get for trading these in. Hey, Andrew, man. Look what I came across over here. The Freaks and oh, Geeks, damn, the complete dude. collection. Oh, yeah, uh, nice. Or the complete series. It's $45. Jeez. But this is like the, you know, the single, the four disc version. But yet there's this one right here that comes in the Papa set that's uh, a dollar cheaper. That comes with, you know, 
the widescreen and original broadcast versions and the original box. How's that work? Why would that be a dollar more? And guys, check this out. I'm still over here and I came across this box set right here. Gene Simmons Family Jewels. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It doesn't say like the season one, season two, complete series or anything like that. This might be like one of those like Screener Academy things. It's only $9.99, but I'm not exactly sure. I have all the other seasons of this on DVD, but never seen it in a packaging like this before. I remember the time I almost bought this thing back in the day. Now they have them all out on Blu-ray or almost all of them out on Blu-ray, but this set was cool back in the day. They had all those figures in it. This, this is actually a really cool like monster set. I used to really like this thing when I used to see it back in the stores back in the day. Well guys, just got out of CD Trader, got $90 in cash, and I got a handful of movies back because I guess they just didn't want to take them or anything like that. But we're at our next location of the day. Boop, 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 boop. Tokyo Music. Let's head on in and see if Spec's here. Spec, is your cringy ass here? Spec, yo! What's up, bro? We, we, were you back there making a Hot Pocket? What's up, bro? Whoa. Did you wash your hands? My hands are clean. That's cool. It doesn't matter. We're crew. It, we all, we can have our poop stick together. It's all good. Have you guys ever met each other before? Yeah, like once, once or twice. Yeah. No, do more than that. Because I come in here with like Zane and all those fools. No, no, but we came here for a specific reason. Oh, wow, nice. Um, you have any weed? No, sir. I was at CD Trader earlier trying to sell some DVDs and Blu-rays to them, yeah. and these are the ones they gave back. These are like the rejects, and I was wondering if you would like to maybe buy them off me or sell them in your store. Right. I got Juice, and I got this other DVD right here. I'll sell the Gunner Groove back. Yeah. Part two. Why don't you just donate them? I'll donate them. You can, you can keep oh, them shits. You. you can sell them in your store and like make profit and bunghole. Dude, Spec, what is this? why do you have a Chuck E. Cheese? Is this like a backpack? A Chuck E. Cheese backpack? What the hell? The Rocco's Modern Life? What? Yeah. Shoot. The it's final a, season. The final season, okay. Okay, guys, I came across this jacket. I think I'm gonna try this on because Andrew says I have to because it, it might make me look like a pimp or something. All right. Damn, dude. Is this like a 90s jacket? Looks like you're ready to rob. <laughs> Am I like the Kool Aid Man? <laughs> Looks like you're ready to rob a 7 Eleven in 1989. You think so? Yeah. I seen like a mask and shit. So, yo, yo, yo give me right, that damn squishy. Right, do the right thing, man. Yeah, do the right thing. <laughs> Love, hate, <laughs> you know, or whatever it is from that movie. Dude, do us a full spin. Give us a full 180. Whoa, what? damn. What? Well, dude, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn, turn it back around. Hey, like what, some, what there's like some bird shit? duty on it. There's bird shit on this? <laughs> what the fuck? Or some love juice. Dry God up. damn it, Spec. <laughs> I knew you watched porn jerk off onto Jordan. something. Jo God, Jordan. Jordan. Jordan juice. Jordan juice. <laughs> I'll give you some Jordan juice. Jordan. Dried up Jordan juice. You don't even like take the stuff to the cleaners or anything. No, what, what are you crazy? I don't clean this you stuff. You don't clean nothing. I mean, you don't clean your unless, bathroom. You know, unless there's a stain like on it, like that I saw. I didn't see the stain on the thing. So look, look. I'm gonna give you these two DVDs and I can get this VHS. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's messed up. I thought you loved me, Spec. So Spec. So like, what do you think I have to do to try to get a lady then? Do you see a lady with me? Like, no, I you know, don't. You know, you're not gonna give her brother some love advice? So, Spec, dude, what is going on back here with all these hoardings? Because, like, I, 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 I'm, nor, I'm known as the hoarder. I'm hoarding, I would keep it. I'm if, selling this stuff. I know, but how are you gonna, how are you expecting, you, look, 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 look. Yeah. How are you expecting to sell stuff if it's in here? Like, you have to, like, like, dig through here, like, oh, what is this? Oh, it's a video game. And you're like, oh, there's more, por is there porn down there? I don't want to, like, get in, like, you know, scabies. What movie? What movie? Let me tell you something. What, bro? Let me tell you something. What? Okay. Calm down now. A long time ago when I started this, I realized that I couldn't take the boredom of this because there's too much boredom goes on. What, in the store? Yes. Okay. I learned, little children out there, this is how you stop boredom. Little children don't come to the store. Yes. So what you do is you stockpile. This is the key to stopping boredom. It really helps. You stockpile stuff that you have to do. Okay. Just put it all in a mountain of stuff and then you don't do it. But that's what hoarders do. No, I'm not, I'm not keeping but I, I'm not, I'm not, it. You're, but if you're selling it, do, do customers come back here and like they're get on their hands and knees and look for shit? Back there. This is like the back room. You're not supposed to be back here. Listen. Listen. So then it's, this, stuff, this stuff is not priced. So, so does that mean since all this stuff is not priced, shit's yeah, free? So if there's no prices on it, I can just come on down here. Oh God, I'm, I'm getting on my knees. I'm getting on my knees in this place. I'm finding like VHS tapes down here. Let's see what else is down here. But getting it on. A getting it on DVD. This is a, a, a bunch of random stuff. There's like a random CDs and cases. Am I am I gonna like have any diseases getting on my knees down here? Are you sure? Guys, to sit down in the bathroom so they don't spread the urine everywhere. Okay. Especially, <laughs> especially in your bathroom where the microwave is. Alright, so I'm gonna start this in the. Is, is the microwave still in there? Yeah. yeah but, 
Here, here, check this out. Dude, check this out. Here we go. Here, you touch the you touch the handle. I don't know what the hell that is on the handle though. It's a glove for hand oh. for sanitation. Sanitation, but the glove looks. Open the door. <laughs> open the door, Andrew. Just, just here, thing. open the door, Andrew. Just do it. Open the door, Andrew. It's part of the ambiance. Orange juice there for the flies. You wanna you wanna make a bagel or something or? Dude, it's easy to access. That's that's, that's genius. I would have done the same thing. It is dope, right? You can like. You can like make a hot make a hot pocket and take a dump at the same time. Ghetto. What? Ghetto. So like so have you ever like made like a like a mini microwave pizza uh -huh. and like what? went to the bathroom at the same time? No, I don't eat while I'm sitting on the on the toilet. I know, but do you take it's a dump? You, I know you oh. you, you, you sure? <laughs> Spec, you know we love you, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna get out of here. Let's go. Well, guys, at our next destination of the day, the local Target. But Andrew, man, before we go up in there, yes, you've been on the hunt for this like new Street Fighter game that's coming out. Yeah, dropped today. Actually. Well, no. Well, some people say they it's Friday. It that it's dropping today in the Target newspaper, but yeah. I knew originally they said the 26. So. Okay, so let's see if they have it in here anyway. All right, guys, we're in Target right now, and it looks like they're advertising the Street Fighter game right here. So it says, it says, and it says available Tuesday. So we have to go to the back and see if it's here. So all you mother effers that were gonna comment and say, Andrew, you're an idiot. No, it's, it comes out on Friday. I told you I wasn't crazy. Well, at least it Target, at least Target's ad says it's Tuesday. Yeah. But you already went to a GameStop and they said, sorry, no. Dude, the guy, it was hilarious because I, the guy, literally just looked at me like I was an idiot. Yeah. And there was dead silence for a long period of time, and I'm thinking. So what it was got really awkward mm -hmm. and so I just kind of said uh i went like that and then that prompted him to react he says it's not out today and i thought well why could you just say that yeah i know so so let's yeah. go on over to the video game section and the movie section and see if they have the street fighter game well guys here's the new release section over here at target and it looks like all the logan's like exclusive ones are sold out unless they have like a stand up in front but they have like the regular standalone and of course the 4k one over here and of course the great wall and get out but like there's no exclusives here uh, for that one. It might, they might be sold out already. Which is okay, cause I'm not really on the hunt for that. I know a lot of people are telling me to watch this movie. I'm down to check it out. But like, you know, I'm really trying to, I'm trying to save some money up right now. Cause there's a couple of things that came out today that uh, I'm gonna be getting up on. Have you seen Logan? I have not. Okay, cool. Not. So I'm not the only one. Well guys, we're at a Target now. And sad to say, Andrew didn't find his video game. They said they have it advertised there, but no one was really there to help us. And we didn't see it there yeah. for us to pick up or grab, but it's all good. Oh well. All right guys, at the next destination of the day, Best Buy. Let's head up in there and see if they have the Logan Steelbook. Well guys, inside Best Buy right now, and it does look like they're sold out of the Logan uh, Steelbook, which I kind of knew it was going to happen because it is kind of late right now and I wasn't really even in the market for it, but if I did see one here, I probably would have got it just for the hell of it. But uh, at the same time, I, I do want to see the movie, but do I want to pay all this money for it? I don't know. Oh. But at the same time, I got to be honest with myself and the viewers that are watching this right now. I'm kind of a little jaded because I do get I do get screeners to review uh, for my videos and stuff. And I was kind of trying to get one and it just wasn't happening. I so. am jaded. I don't get none of that shit for free or anything. Well, you could if you want to borrow some. Well, I'm not paying that money. I'm gonna wait. Yeah, yeah, but like I'm not saying I'm jaded in a bad way. It just sort of like over the years when I was getting when I when I get screeners, it just kind of makes me go, oh, you know what I mean? Unless it was like an exclusive, like a steel book or something. But they uh, don't get me wrong. I love physical media. You could tell that by my my room and my house. But uh, the Great Wall is one of those ones that came out. This one this one came out last week or the week before. This steel book look, looks dope. I just don't understand how some steel books sell out quickly, like Logan. But then ones like this, they, they only got a few of, it's, but it's, they don't go nowhere. All right, guys, uh, we've got out of Best Buy. Uh, this is the la that was the last location of the day. Um, sad to say, I didn't find anything today. I know a lot of you guys out there are going, Brendan, you never buy shit. When you found it, you just didn't buy it. What do you mean? You found movies. You just oh, I, I, I found movies, yeah. <laughs> but I also, I also traded in some at a CD trader, and I got $90. So I can get something very special that actually came out today, but on the Disney Movie Club. I'm gonna be ordering now, since with the money that I got from trading, you know, getting those movies on over to CD Trader. I'm gonna be ordering Mighty Ducks, Mighty Ducks 2, Mighty Ducks 3, Cool Runnings, all on Blu-ray, man. That sounds like fucking expensive, man. No, it is. That, that whole none of the books I got. It's all, it's all gonna disappear to those right there. But if you guys want to get those Mighty Ducks Blu-rays yourself. I'll have a link for it down below if you guys want to join the movie, you know, Disney Movie Club. Uh, if you if you join it through my link, 
that I have down there. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I do get Blu-rays sent from Disney to talk about, but I'm not sponsored by the movie club. And uh, if you guys join it using that link, I think I get free two movies and you guys might get like a special perk or something like that if you join through my link. But I, I, ha I have to get those Mighty Ducks ones. Those are the movies that made me want to join that club. Does Disney give the perk or are you giving the perk? I think Disney gives, I think Disney, <laughs> Disney gives the perk because I'm not, I'm not partnered with them at all. Oh, you're not going to, you're not going to give the people a wet one perk? No, wet perk, no. <laughs> but you also didn't buy anything either, man. You were, you were looking at the heavyweights Blu-ray at Friday. I did, I almost bought that because I didn't realize all the special features were on it and it was pretty cheap. And I told them the, the Blu-ray of that, I mean the deleted scenes on that heavyweights Blu-ray is longer than the actual movie. Yeah. And it was, it was just pretty damn cool. But other than that, guys, it was just cool hanging out with my brother Andrew over here. Not really my brother, but you know, brother, brother, brother from another mother. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys check out those Mighty Ducks movies. Links down below, because I just have to get those ones. I grew up watching those, and I just love those ones, man. Dude, those are fun. Like Knuckle it. puck, bitch. Or they, you don't, they don't say it like that, but knuckle puck time. Whatever. Well, that was that was that was in the deleted scene. Mm -hmm. And it was even cool back in the day, or a year or so ago. I got Sean Wise, the guy that played you know Goldberg, the goalie from those movies, in one of my videos. I remember that. Which, that was was, cool. which was pretty damn cool. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys check out Andrew on Instagram, uh, MidnightMovieWatchers.com, you know, in Instagram and everything. And if you guys want to get a Night Owls Blu-ray of my short films I made, check out the website. Link down below, Midnight Movie Watchers. But guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all for the next video. The next one's going to be me and Luna hanging out in Hollywood, baby. Mm -hmm. What? what?